Hello guys and welcome back for another video where we will be discussing finding that spark for revolution. There's a lot of nuance that goes into this, but for the sake of keeping things simple, you can break down society into three main categories. There are those on the one end of the spectrum, or category one, who don't really care about politics, current events, world affairs, for whatever reason. You know, you can have many reasons for living your life this way. There's nothing inherently wrong with living a lifestyle as such. You can think that you are unaffected by these topics and issues. You can think that you have no control over these issues, or maybe you simply don't have the time, or dare I say luxury, to really put any thought into it. For example, if you live paycheck to paycheck with children, you're very much focused on that and not who your senator is, who your governor is, what kind of legislation is being passed, what's happening in the state or country or other countries around you. And that is category one. And then you have category two, where people are engaged. They do care about these topics. They do have a passion for these kinds of things. They vote, they follow up on the news, they try to have an informed opinion. But then there's category three, where, dare I say, this is the more hardcore crowd. The people who are very passionate about these issues and topics. They very much try to keep themselves informed on what exactly is going on in the world. Those in the hardcore category really take it upon themselves to spend large swaths of time trying to dissect the information around them so that they can know all the things that are happening in what is probably one of many topics that they are deeply passionate about. I myself definitely fall into the third category, if you haven't noticed. People in the third category definitely care a lot about politics, current events, world affairs, to the point that it kind of, you know, stresses them out from time to time. I mean, just look at that guy. Does he look like he's having a good time? What about that guy? Or even that guy? That guy's definitely not having a good time. Yeah, I would definitely say that I fall into the third category myself. But regardless of what category you fall under, there is always that potential to find that spark for revolution. Now, when I say revolution, I don't necessarily mean that sort of traditional connotation that comes along with that. Not necessarily with overthrowing governments with violence, but more of changing how you see the world. Changing how you view the different systems around you. Changing how you see yourself and the people around you. A revolution of the mind, if you will. Now, if you are someone who is very dedicated, you've probably already found that spark. How did it happen? What got you into it? What was that catalyst? Let me know in the comments. It can happen a few ways, right? It can be the way you grew up with the family that you had. That can obviously have an impact on your values and how you view the world. It could be a specific event that got you thinking about things. Or maybe it was a slow progression. Maybe as you learned more about the world, you got more life experience. And the more you came to this subtle conclusion that something is not right. It can also happen, unfortunately, by pure circumstance. Something that makes it very difficult to ignore discrimination or hatred or any kind of negative impact. Or maybe you were born somewhere else and then moved and then felt that discrimination. Of course, it doesn't have to be discrimination, that's just the topic I'm using, so. But if you are in that later category, there is a reason why you feel so passionate, why you feel so dedicated to these topics. For one reason or another, it's because you feel like something is deeply wrong with society, government, corporations, whatever it may be. But learning about how bad something can be can obviously have a huge impact on who you are and how you view the world. Now, if you started learning about the bad stuff and you got involved, that's great. Assuming you want the world to be more just, less corrupt, less bullshit for everyone, awesome. But there is always the potential to get hooked on the wrong thing. I think we probably all know someone who might be like this. Someone that watched the wrong video or listened to the wrong podcaster and in so many ways fell down into the wrong rabbit hole. 
You know what I'm talking about. And that's tricky because depending on who you ask what question to, you're obviously going to get a response based on the information that they are equipped with, the information that they surround themselves with. Because people are only as good as the environment that they are placed in. They're only as good as they grew up. They're only as good as the amount of effort they're willing to put in to really seek out knowledge in general. And not everyone is willing to listen to an opposing view. But regardless, I find that question fascinating. What was your spark for revolution? What got you interested in politics? Or whatever topic that you're really into? Was it something simple or a combination of things? It's an interesting question because as we move forward, you know, in the next few decades, what we do now will have ripple effects for the future. So we have to understand what and why people value certain things, and we have to understand what is actually happening in order to come to a consensus on how to fix these various issues. And in order to do that, we have to change our minds. We have to change how we view the world. Because the revolution will not be won with guns and violence. It will be won by hearts and minds. You have to know what page everyone else is on and find that common ground. Because nobody knows everything, but everybody knows something. And you have to be willing to listen to people who you might disagree with in order to maybe learn something that you would not have learned otherwise. And regardless of what your views may be, everyone had to start somewhere. For me, it was music. Music changed my life. And music set me on the path that I've been on the last 10 years. And we will get into that on the next video. But what got you interested in the topics that you are passionate about? And if you don't have an interest, why not? Let me know in the comments, and if you like this video, hey, like and subscribe if you're interested, and we will get with you next week. Later.